good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are, for joining us for this international conference for schools as community hubs. I'm Rob Polglaze. I'm grateful to be part of the Building Connections research team and excited by the privilege of joining you today to discuss policy research and its implications for schools as community hubs. This is an outline of the discussion highlighting the problem and opportunity for navigating research for policy related to schools and community hubs, for which we're going to look at two interpretive policy approaches or lenses to um, use to uh, look at the case study example of Yule Park Community College in Central Victoria. As noted by a formative article written by Ben Cleveland, a school, but not as we know it, towards schools for network communities, of which uh, has been a very strong influence for this research. This is characterised by jurisdictional complexities, uh, which are challenges for coordinating objectives, priorities and funding across policy disciplines and levels of government. We have quite a few of those in Australia with um, over 500 local councils deliberating um, local community policy, state departments at state government level, um, delivering education across states, territories and community policy as well. And federal government also with um, education and social policies and providing funding for um, all of these things throughout Australia with the state governments. We have many uh, settings, of course, to consider these policies for in relation to urban, regional, indigenous, rural and outbook, outback, I should say, environments. And we have a mixture of disciplines which interact and interrelate with education and community policy settings. As mentioned, two policy approaches or lenses will be considered for researching policy relationships. The first um, is what is the problem represented to be by the policy by Carol Barchi first um, brought forward in her book in 1999, Women, Policy and Politics, but developed through many articles and subsequent publications where policy is put forward to be postulated as solutions in order to be teased out and critically examined for their implicit problem representations. Five extra questions from um, what is the problem represented, dig deeper into what that represents in terms of what the representation assumes or presuppositions that exist, representations that evolve from it, what is um, problematic, what is problematic, what can be thought about differently, what effects are produced, what can be further questioned, what is disrupted and replaced. For a definition of problematization, which um, can be defined as a process to identify how to address the social world, not just as a technical process built on uniform understanding of its nature. Together with WPA, the performative and enactment um, approach is going to be considered as well for your park, which is our case study, where different types of policy we can see has become, as represented here from Stephen Ball, um, interpreted, translated, reconstructed and remade with the engagement of social actors, mediators, not just documented as text, and which is emergent through the effects of all these interrelation or um, factors or interactions. As mentioned, your park is a community college school as community hub in central Victoria. It opened with 22 community functions, including early years program, developed overall as a village scale, connected very closely with its local community. The policy context is very much um, contingent upon the outcome at Yule Park, or the area, I should say, of Wendery West, which is where Yule Park is located, was originally built for the 1956 Summer Olympics to provide accommodation for the rowing athletes, which um, for the events that occurred on Lake Wendery, which you can see there. Sadly, though, little upgrade had occurred since prior to Yule Park. The area had become left behind, stigmatised with disadvantaged associated crime, unemployment, student truancy, poor community mental health, among other long-term challenges. In response to this policy failure, if you like, where traditional education, justice, community and other social policy had clearly not achieved their objectives, a customised 
education village scale model evolved through some years of consultation with interdepartmental advocacy established with the school principal and local community. And this occurred after the amalgamation of two schools, which became your park. Advocates from both the Department of Education and DHHS or Department of Human Services for Community Policy were pivotal for supporting a locally determined brief that achieved a high level of community of commitment. The creation of a policy on the run was essential for achieving community consensus, supporting services selection, programming, site planning, design options. This was the um, final model, if you like, of what was produced for site planning and design out of a flexible procurement policy that allowed greater customization. Consultation and planning occurred over seven years, supported by various forms of adaptation and refinement as local needs were determined and suitable design responses created, iterated through phases that loosely corresponded with feasibility, master planning and functional brief. In addition to the primary and middle school education, adult education on site was strongly supported as a driver by the Department of Health and Human Services. So policy enactment for schools training, local employment was a major driver with um, a focus on technology skills, which became popular supported by development of shared learning spaces connected to the local, to the community library, which you can see here in this plan diagram. The employment program became quite successful supporting community members with skills for new roles, both at your, on offer at York Park, as well as the wider community in the years that followed. This is an image of the inner street where weekend markets occurred. The students are there receiving or having breakfast from a community and commercial kitchen, which is opposite in the hallway, where, uh, which was also a place where um, people came to learn cooking and skills for local restaurants. And that is some of the surrounding spaces that were also designed in as multiple um, use for different um, activities, which again emerged and changed during the seven days of the week which, for which the, um, the facility remains open. This space um, was the only meet in, a, in a sort of meeting space in the area which became used for all sorts of community events, music events and um, social events. A pedagogy was customised around a pod learning environment which um, provided a team teaching approach, which was planned and designed with buildings accommodating learning communities for three years up to in the same pod. So prep to year two, grades three to five and six to eight. The learning spaces also include outdoor landscapes, multi-sport environments, philanthropic Stephanie Alexander Garden, where students grew their own food and um, prepared and shared for the, at the commercial kitchen at the heart of the center. The school as community hub opening became a catalyst for new housing development, which continued to expand over the years subsequent to its opening around the local streets and uh, engaging and stimulating new, ec new economic activity for the commercial street. So in summary for your park, the case study demonstrates the problem of a significantly disadvantaged community while showing the contingency of policy making on the run evident in the gap between formal written policy issued by government and the local adaptation and enactment of policy in this particular community setting. So what can we hope for for schools as community hubs policy research? These are some hoped for points that uh, could be a result of this further analysis and research into policy for schools as community hubs. The analysis may further provide evidence for policy problems, gaps, enablers to better navigate and configure the all too complicated integrative policy arrangements common to schools as community hubs. I'm hopeful in the broader sense that this research based policy can become increasingly relevant as we transition from this current pandemic period. And I much look forward to continuing this introductory discussion in uh, in discussions to follow, in panels to follow, and thank you for your attention and consideration.